Hey, hello there everybody and welcome back here to the channel. Paul here from The Daily Dose and uh, we are going to talk about the uh, upcoming cars here uh, in the diecast world and let's start off first with the new pre-order announcement from Tarmac Works and they have six really good cars here coming soon. Uh, I cannot see any bad cars here to be honest in this wave and uh, let's start off first with the Mercedes-Benz 190E, this is a brand new tooling. It has a chase version and as you can see right there, it's just fantastic. So I really like this a lot. And the colorway, yeah, it's the same as the uh, Mercedes-Benz that we, we talked about yesterday in the Hot Wheels update. So, uh, but of course this is from Tomac Works, a more premium band. So this is amazing i like the wheels here to be honest i think that looks awesome uh, for this car and i'm i'm curious what the chase will look then they have a new tooling part of their global 64 line right here an ixo models atomic works collab of the mercedes amg f1 w14 e performance f1 race car amazing right there and that race car was in the spanish grand prix in 2023 driven by george russell again really nice looking vehicle right there patronus livery on that then uh, mclaren mcl60 also a new tooling and it is a 2024 livery show car absolutely fantastic right there uh for the f1 race cars i think i would choose this i mean if i have only one choice choose this one over the mercedes amg f1 w14 e performance f1 race car um next we have a dodge van with a sprite livery how about that one that is cool who drinks sprite here let me know in the comments i'll give a thumbs up to that uh but i don't uh even though i i don't i don't drink sprite or any sodas anymore or soft drinks anymore uh to control my blood sugar levels but yeah this is nice it has a chase variant and uh, i'm curious to see what the chase will be um or how the chase would look <laughs> excuse me then um atomic works vertex uh nissan sylvia s13 this one also has a chase car variant one of the prettiest cars here in this wave to be honest just looks amazing man i might pre-order this let's see uh it's it's just so good then lastly a land rover defender 110 uh this has a chase variant also this is part of the global 64 line just a solid looking vehicle and man yeah just look at that and also love like the clear windows uh in this so pretty nice cars here uh, honestly in the upcoming pre-order wave from Tomac Works I think all six are amazing there's no peg warmers here or, or waste whatsoever in my opinion and what are your favorites let me know in the comment and wow man look at this uh, uh, such a surprise right here uh, for Mini GT so they have partnered with BAPE Mini GT BAPE and Liberty Walk have partnered uh, they have released or they will be releasing four vehicles here hype vehicles hype castings um, these will be on a pre-sale at the Wired Music Festival this year limited to only 100 sets and, uh, imagine how much this would cost uh, from resellers so again hype castings here we have the Sylvia S15, really nice camo pattern right there. Uh, Bape is really known for that one. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's really a beautiful car to be honest, but um, yeah, it's impossible to, I think this would be impossible to find or to, to acquire if you're just a normal collector, to be honest. <laughs> then we have a really cool uh, Silhouette Skyline also in here. So pretty much the same, or almost the same livery as the Sylvia S15. It says bathing ape right there on the front splitter. 
Um, this is such a cool one with the pink camo, uh, the GTR R35. Uh, I think this uh, probably is the best one here, to be honest, uh, because of, of that pink camo. Uh, that looks gorgeous. So really nice uh, overall. Even though I'm not like the biggest fan of the R35, if I compare, compare it to other uh, Skylines and even uh, the Silvias, um, there's just something to the silhouette of the car. But again, the pink camo looks magnificent. And we have the Ken Mary right here. Uh, I think this is like the weakest one here, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of the colorway. But yeah, what do you think of this? Let me know. So yeah, good luck to you guys out there who, who want to get this. Again, limited to only 100 sets. Pretty damn hard to acquire. So what do you think of this? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, also, thanks to Ajib Nobi for this. So here's a look at the uh, upcoming Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunt High Roller. So we talked about this previously. And a lot of you are saying that it resembles the Rolls Royce, which uh, Hot Wheels doesn't have license. And that's why a lot of you guys uh, like this because of the Rolls Royce resemblance. So I get it, but uh, for me, uh, not really a big fan. I would prefer, of course, the, the real one, the Rolls Royce cars. Uh, but of course, Hot Wheels don't, don't have license. And uh, I, I think, uh, the livery here uh, kind of looks weird man that the pattern I don't understand it but anyways uh, again I respect your opinions uh, we all have uh, different uh, likes and dislikes but yeah super treasure hunt high roller a lot of you like this um, it's an acquired taste. <laughs> Next right here, an update on the Hot Wheels Honda Civic EF Red Edition. Again, thanks to Ajib Nobi for this. Hype casting. Uh, the, I don't know if this is already selling on eBay. If it is, it, uh, my guess, it's super expensive. Maybe double the price or more than the uh, SRP. But yeah, fantastic car overall. I, I love this. It's a classic Civic hatchback. And uh, I think, yeah, most of you like this also. So anyways, that is our update. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. And what are your favorite cars? Let me know in the comments. And see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy collecting diecast cars. Bye-bye.